Obviously, that is a very tactile man. Uh, our next speaker is also an up-close and personal tactile inventor. He is an entrepreneur. He's a gadget guy. And he also looks or doesn't look at things in an extraordinary way. Please welcome to the TEDx Gateway stage, Eric. There are 285 million visually impaired people all over the world. And more than 40 million are blind. And 30% of them, more than 15 million, are in India here. So, two years ago, when I studied in the University of Washington, I saw one blind woman. And she was reading this gigantic braille book at the time. So, after the few minutes of talk, I could realize that even like a Bible, the small book becomes a 22 volumes of the Braille books. And because it's too big, it's so expensive, and less than 1% of our books are translated in the Braille form. So I thought there should be something like an iPad type fancy device, digitalized device, should be available. But most of them are only in concept. And this was the device that's available. It's called Braille Display. It looks a little bit bulky. And the average price of this device was $3,000 to $15,000. So I was so surprised. More than 90% of the visual impaired people give up to learn Braille because of these reasons. And that naturally led to more than 80% of the unemployment rate worldwide. It's a big social problem. To solve, to solve this problem, we formed a team at June of 2014, and we got an idea from those big devices. We wanted to make mobilized device, most affordable device, for the entry of the Braille literacy. So we got an idea of the smartwatch, and we've been researched for a year, and today I would like to introduce the first Braille smartwatch dot. It will be available 2016. And through the dot watch, we want to make the most affordable entry device for the Braille literacy. So it's a smart watch. Let's see how it works. So it's like an Apple Watch. After you connect this device with your smartphone, through the Bluetooth connections, you can read your Facebook feed or any messages, any text data. Or you, can, you can even see the time too. Anything from the smartphone. And as you can see, after you get a message, the dot pops up and you can read it. But more importantly, we want to make this device for the entry device. So we put the Braille education system here, and anyone want to learn Braille, they can buy it, and they can learn Braille. So we met Andrea Bocelli. He really liked our idea, and he endorsed us. And what he told me was, Braille was his light. He could become a great tenor with the great help of the Braille. So existing technology are really big and bulky. It's called piezoelectric. But with the magnetic technology, we made a technology that is the 20th size of current technology and the 20th price of the current technology. And it changes everything. Hmm. This is an example. Hmm. Okay. So right now, for 20 years, the Braille display market, the price never changed. 2,000, 3,000, even 15,000 for 20 years. But we want, to, we want to introduce the first mobile device and most affordable device in this market. And it, will, it will be less than 30, uh, $300. And since our mission is making affordable device, it will be cheaper and cheaper as the mass production goes on. Okay. So 20 years ago, no one used cell phone, right? Only business people use it because it's too expensive. Now we use all the you know, smartphone and all the great cell phone with the great price. But we want to make the same happening for the blind people too. People often ask me if they cannot see, they can just hear. I would say strongly no to that because it's just another right. We see 
we smell and we feel and we touch. It's just another right blind people should have had already. So we brought this idea from the Korea and France, Germany, Philippines, Hungary, USA, China, and Japan. After that, we've been featuring many medias. So the blind people all over the world could know of our stories. Out of 2,000 visual impaired people, more than 90% loved our ideas. And most importantly, children are so excited about this to learn Braille and that they want to you know, have many features and they can see in Braille. And most importantly, more than thousands of families and friends of the blind people are so excited about this. I remember uh, one day a, a mother uh, who has a blind deaf daughter. She contacted me and then she said she bought a toy watch for her, for her daughter, because there was no alternative to see just time. We believe we can help them. I would like to ask you, what if you lose your sight tomorrow? By accident, by disease, more than 90% of people lose their sight so sudden or gradually, just living like us after that. But now I believe we can help them. Second thing that we want to do is to change the way of education for the blind people. So we got an idea from the Braille books. It's a dot pad. So what it is, is it has a multiple layers of the Braille, since our technology is so small. Until now, all the blind children all over the world had a really hard time to learn math because current devices only support one line of the Braille. They cannot see the shapes or they cannot feel any mathematical equation on there. But here they can do that or they can even much more. Navigate the maps, navigate the images, all the things will be possible here. And we brought this idea into public places too change the way of accessing public data for the blind people. So we modulize our technology. Like, it looks like this. And many blind people have so much hard time to use ATM right now. But we put this device on the ATM, they can really easily use it. We cannot memorize our account number, right? So they have so much hard time, but they can, we can help them. Also, we are going to library in Kenya so that they can access all the public books. And in the Seoul, in Korea, we're putting this device on the bus stop so blind people can know the number of the bus, what bus is coming, and even the subway. So what we want to do is we want to make no information barrier for the 285 million visually impaired people all over the world. Recently, the famous entrepreneur, Peter Thiel, told us that developing the developed developing the developed world is about the idea that you know, advanced technology is important. Advanced to advanced is important. But we need a technology that gives an equal opportunity and equal accessibility so that minority people and disabled people can get help from it. Her name is Jihae. We met a year ago, and she wanted to become a great violinist. And she could dream it after she learned Braille. She could read about those great artists. She could read about those who sing and lyrics. There are more than 10 million blind children out there who have the same pains right now. I believe our generation has the responsibility to give them a same opportunity that we have now so that they can dream about their future. Thank you very much.